Okay, guys, we're back here uh, live on the stage show here at Comic-Con 2012. As if that train bell behind me led any doubt into your mind, we are definitely here at Comic-Con 2012. We've got uh, Rich, who's going to tell us all about Tekken Tag Tournament 2, right? That's right. I mean, today over at E3, everyone's been pretty hyped about it. We have some game stations, but just trying to educate, fill everybody in on any questions that they have for Tekken Tag Tournament 2. Cool. So, uh, yeah, I think we're going to run into some gameplay, but just a little bit of history. It's been over 10 years uh -huh. since the last installment of the Tag Series was brought back to the fans. And now we're in it. The game's going to be featuring over 50 characters mm -hmm. and a whole bunch of additions to the basic game mechanics of the game. So a lot of what everybody loved in it, which was the tag combos, and everybody knows that Tekken right. is all about combos and how awesome you can kick the butt of your opponent. Uh -huh. um, so we added new ways for basically anybody and everybody to have fun with the system. And the whole thing is now is going in and out between the two characters that you pick and really kind of being as creative as possible. But then for those who just want to keep it real simple, for those who've liked every game from two, uh, one up until six, uh -huh. and just are familiar with one character, they also have that option as well. Okay. So you can do two verse one or one verse two, whatever you're liking, and then a whole slew of characters that you get to pick from. And the guys like me who are just woefully inadequate at fighting games? Well, the thing is, what we've done with this game is that we had a, a new system into it, which is a fight lab. Okay. And I think when everybody jumps into every fighting game, they're able to play some type of practice mode. So what we've done, we've taken a mix of what fans have kind of given us in terms of just like the feedback, what to improve on how we can teach your everyday player how to play. Because I just want to play a fighting game with somebody and not the computer all the time. And in Fight Lab, you're going to learn the basics, basically an encyclopedia of everything for this game. So you're, going to lure, you're going to learn more about high mids and lows, throws, the whole tag system, everything from tag assault to tag crash to tag launchers and switching in and out, but also kind of teaching you a little bit about the theory on why you should do this move over another. Okay. Really basically exciting your brain and kind of taking that whole new level for anybody who's never really played a fighting game and having a whole bunch of fun with it. All right, sounds good. So we've got a match queued up right here. Yes. Uh, We've got uh, my favorite, Kuma. Kuma, yes, Kuma the Bear. But we also have Kunimitsu right there on the left side of the screen, mm -hmm. which we've recently announced who's back into the mix. I think the last time that anybody's seen Kunimitsu was Tekken Tag, the original. Uh, you know, we get a ton of feedback on like returning characters that people want to see to myself or Harada san, right. you know, the big main boss for Tekken. And you know what? We got ahead and plugged her in, and she's in the game with a whole slew of attacks that makes her unique and not just what everybody thought would maybe just be a palette swap. But she's in the mix. She's got the whole nine. Everything from tag assault combos, multiple ways to bind your opponent, which some people may or may not be familiar with. But uh, a really good character. I think one of my favorites. And probably one of the biggest things, she's one of the four characters that are going to be free if you pre-order right now. Right, and that's sort of a, a big thing for Absolutely. you guys is this concept of free DLC. Yeah, I, I mean, one thing that I take and one thing that I love was that in a recent interview with Harada's son, we look at every single character and value them almost like chess pieces. Uh -huh. And for the people who are playing, whether it's in tournaments or in your basement, whatever it may be, we don't want to take away from the element of just the fighting game being incomplete. Right. So giving that to the community, just making it free so that off the bat, everybody's going to have the same experience mm -hmm. that they would, whether you pre-order the game or not, but we just want everybody to have fun and play Tekken. I mean, that's our whole thing behind it. No real rocket science behind right, it. Of course. Just yeah. play Tekken <laughs> and check out how awesome and kick-ass these characters are. Of course. Of course. Um, so yeah, let's talk about if we can narrate the match that we've got going on on yes. the screen right here. Let's get into the details. So we got a 2v2 system going on and uh, what you're doing is you're managing two life bars. And the whole concept behind this thing is if you lose one of your characters, since this is a team-based game and right now we're working at a team-based match, if one of your characters loses all their life, the opponent wins around. Okay. So what you're going to be doing is managing the lifespan that you have, which is the blue bar, on top. And what you also see is a little bit of the red gauge that's going, that's not going down at the same pace as the blue. And what that is, it's life that you can potentially gain as long as you put them on the back end. Mm -hmm. So it comes into one of those things where you're thinking about strategy, like how am I going to manage the life that I could potentially gain, and, or am I just going to go all in and try to kill him, not even thinking about me losing? Right. Uh, I mean, there are multiple things that players can do, and what you're seeing right there, uh, what Bake just did, was a tag assault combo. And that's basically an easy way for somebody who's never played a fighting game to kind of get an experience on the tag mechanic. Because you're going to hop in, he's going to do the tag assault hit, right? 
and your secondary char character is going to be able to do any string in the game. From that point on, as soon as that string finishes up, your point character is going to return a get to unload on damage. And it's all going to maintain the same type of properties that Tekken has always had, which is, you know, you can't really do infinites in a game like this. Right. And the game's going to naturally push back your opponent depending on how many times. Obviously, the basic theory is you hit so many times. The more times you hit, the farther he gets hit back. So that's probably one of the coolest things. So that goes back into the combo system. Right. Uh, towards the end of that round, what you saw was the life that was blinking red. Uh, one of the biggest things in a tag game is switching your characters in and out. And in this, if you tag at the wrong time, you're basically open and you can get hit with either a juggle, a combo, or a throw, the whole nine. But if you're laying down and your secondary character is blinking, what you can do is this new system that just got introduced in Tekken Tag Tournament 2, which is a tag crash. It's the safest way for you to go in. Now, it's not 100% safe because I think experienced players will try to find ways to bait people to do it because there are two things that you're going to lose out on. You're going to lose out on the red life that you can potentially gain, right. and you also lose out on the rage meter, which is something I'll get into a little bit, but th what that does is it increases the amount of uh, damage that you get. So you have a little bit, you have a small time frame for you to deal an extra amount of damage, not a comeback mechanic, but really to scare the crap out of your opponent. <laughs> Just to kind of like, hey, chill, sit back, I could do mad damage right now. Right. So here we're hopping into it, and I think what fans will see is that a lot of the stages that I've brought back, you will see, if you're an old, old school Tekken fan, stages that you might be familiar with. Or maybe in the background, as a teaser, you might even see stages that have been in previous other games. Okay. But this stage was in a previous Tekken, mm -hmm. but one thing that we added, which is brand new to Tekken Tag as well, is the interactive environments. So now being able to go either through the ground, which was introduced in Tekken 6, now you're gonna be able to go through the stages by knocking opponents through walls. Oh, okay. So that's a great thing. Oh, there you go. Oh, so that was nice. our first example of a tag throw. A really simple, I think anybody can do it. I think little babies can do it as well. It's basically right punch and tag. Okay. And what's awesome about this is that each team has a unique throw to it. Now it'll basically be based on your point character, but if you put certain characters together and you're somewhat familiar with the Tekken storyline, or even assume that, hey, these guys might have something to do in the storyline, for the most part, they will have a special tag combo. And it could be like the Mishimas, like Kazuya and Hihachi. They do a tag throw, but then Hihachi, like, oh, Kazuya throws Hihachi into the opponent rather than... But it's just, it's an amazing way to go ahead and play with the animation and really give back to fans, like, ton of fan service just through kick its butt. Yeah, that's actually one of the questions that we've been getting over Twitter is I've been looking at those, people wondering about special tag combos. Yes. Like, uh, roughly how many of those, like, the, out of the larger roster, how many of those special uh, combo characters? So, there will, I, I can give examples right now. Uh, I mean, if you put the robots together, I recently yeah. we announced uh, Jack and Prototype Jack. If you put them together and do their left punch and left kick throw, okay. and then you buffer tag right away, uh -huh. P-Jack will roll the opponent and throw him at Jack and hit him like a baseball. <laughs> if you pick uh, June and Asuka, they also have a ton of throws that they can do as well. Okay. But I think maybe what they are asking on Twitter is also these tag combos. Uh -huh. um, in our recent trailers, we showed a little bit of it where you see these blue sparks come out. A little, a whole nice accent to the character and it's specific to that team. Uh, I think recently there was one where it's Jin Pachi and Kazuya where one's throwing a fireball, one's doing an uppercut, which is completely different from the regular one because it has a blue spark around it. And uh, I think a lot of this, player's gonna have to try to find out and fish on their own. Oh, okay. I mean, that's a great, and otherwise, you still have your bread and butter cookie cutter combos where you can basically create your own. I think that's probably the best thing to pick from it. But there's, I want to say there's an unlimited, but there, of course, you can't really say unlimited. There's a ton of combos that you can put together. Okay. It's all really based on, um, how you put the teams together, who your point character is, and how many times you can mash that tag button. All right, nice. Uh, one of the other questions we, uh, we're getting over Twitter is from uh, Jojo Nagoski, who's wondering about the Wii U features of the game. I know Harada came out and said recently that he doesn't want people to be monitoring two different screens, right? Well, uh, I think there was a mention saying that, you know, in fighting games that you have to be able to, there's a lot of concentration gets put right. into it. 
But, you know, we're working our best to try to figure out what we could do to play around with the controller. I love it so much. Yeah. And, you know, he, we're, the team behind it is super creative. We're just trying to create the best experience that we could, you know, utilizing the base mechanics of Tekken, okay. but all the fun that we can have with the Wii U controller and just the overall experience players can have. Let's see. What are the sort of uh, questions we've got coming our way? Keep it coming, keep it coming. <laughs> Make me say something I'm not supposed to say. <laughs> Let's see here. Bob is looking better than ever, by the way. Yes, yes. I mean, he's got... I mean, now, for anybody that's liked any of the old Tekken mm -hmm. games, um, you know, if you played 6, maybe that was the first one you played. You know, you went right to Bob. It, don't assume that it's going to be... the. Tekken 6 plus tag mechanics. Okay. Characters in this game have been modified to really work with the tag system in the sense that we've added moves that really help with the whole tag mechanics. So, you know, Bob has new strings that lead into binds, which then could lead into tag salt combos and all of that. So you could do everything that you did in 6, but as you explore the game, go through the command list, you'll notice that, hey, you know what? I can see that this could work. And for the most part, if you can assume that it works and it looks like it makes sense, it does. All right. And uh, I think that's one thing that people are going to be excited about. So if you're familiar with Bob, do everything you know, but don't forget to check out all the new stuff. Cool. Sounds good. Rich, thanks a lot for dropping by, hey, no. giving us a little taste of uh, Tag Tournament 2. Absolutely. Can, can you go ahead and remind everybody when the game is uh, expected to be out on store shelves? So the game's going to be coming out for PS3 and Xbox 360 worldwide the week of September 10th. Mm -hmm. For all you U.S. players, it's going to be available on the 11th of September. Make sure to pre-order now because you're going to be getting the Snoop Dogg stage. The four DLC characters, Kunimitsu, Ancient Ogre, Michelle, Chang, and Angel. Okay. We've re also recently announced that there's four additional characters to that, so you're getting a total of eight on day one, which is, this is going to kill me if I forget it, <laughs> but it's Prototype Jack, Tiger Jackson, uh -huh. the Disco Man Inferno. There's also uh, Forest Law, and there's Alex, our right. favorite old lizard-looking dinosaur man. <laughs> So it's going to be a good time. I hope everybody gets to play it. If you have any questions, everybody can hit me up on Twitter. Hit you guys up. You can hit me up. So. All right. Cool. Sounds good. Rich, thanks a lot. Hey, no sweat, man. All right. So that was Tekken Tag Tournament 2. Let's go see what Homer's gotten up to over at the Activision booth.